so we're working on a 2011 Porsche Cayenne uh, 4S. This is a 4.8 V8, awesome engine. Sometimes you run into this code, which is P000C, and it could be for bank one or bank two. We are dealing with the one for bank two, and it, the check engine light with this code has been on and off for last 1500 miles. And as a first step, we change the camshaft position sensor and the light was on for a few, off for a few hundred miles, no code. Now the code is back on. Uh, we did further testing. And the next step we're doing, we're gonna be changing the camshaft actuator for solenoid. So um, we are in the process of pulling up and removing the valve cover from bank two and you have to remove uh, quite a few parts, including you'd have to loosen up the harness, loosen up the grounding points right there. And as we loosen them up, we're gonna inspect the condition. Looks nice and shiny, no corrosion. We're still gonna clean that and reinstall it just to make sure. So we've got the valve cover off the engine and we always check overall condition of things because that's a rare opportunity. We first glance at the condition of our oil, nice and clean. There's absolutely no sludge anywhere. We're definitely gonna inspect and look at the camshaft, specifically at the camshaft uh, lobes. And you wanna see a nice and smooth surface. You don't wanna see any scoring. And that's definitely the case here. So we'll continue checking everything and it does look pretty good. We're also going to inspect uh, the mounting bolts for the variable valve timing mechanism to the sprocket. They're right there. So we're gonna definitely check those. They look to be okay because nothing is loose, uh, but definitely a very good time to check all that. We installed a new camshafter solenoid adjuster right here. That's the proper name for this part. And we're getting ready to install uh, the valve cover. We put a new gasket in. We put the new seal uh, for the solenoid housing. And then we have the new spark plug well seals. And the other thing that we always do uh, is when we have the opportunity uh, and we have the valve cover off, uh, we put a straight edge and we basically make sure that all the flat surfaces like this, they're in plane. This way we're eliminating a chance of a leak if the valve cover itself is warped. And also we would check the valve cover for cracks or any damage. This one, it looks really good and straight. So we're gonna be ready to install it back on the car, uh, reassemble everything and check for codes, reset the codes and road test the vehicle, make sure no codes come back. But with the check engine light for all the monitors to be set, it could take several hundred miles. With, uh, with Porsche Macans, we've seen on some vehicles that it would take four to 500 miles. And then with this particular code that we're actually addressing on this car, sometimes it would take a few hundred miles for the concern, for the conditions that meet for this code to illuminate, for those conditions to come up, it could take several hundred miles. So once this is all together, we're going to monitor this and communicate with the vehicle owner just to make sure the light is, uh, does not come on. 